Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of the intestinal mucosal barrier. So first question is, what is it? Well, it's simply a barrier uh, between the inside of your colon, which you have all the microbes, and I'm talking about the large bowel, okay? So most of the microbes, the friendly bacteria, should exist in the large bowel. And so here are the microbes right here. And then there's a barrier, a mucosal barrier. It's thick, uh, there's mucus in it, and then you have the cells of the colon called colonocytes. And these little guys will absorb selectively certain nutrients, okay? Now, most of your nutrients and your protein is absorbed in the small intestine. The large bowel is all about fermenting fiber, but there is some water and some electrolyte absorption. But this mucosal barrier is the first line of defense, okay? So the body's trying to protect itself from pathogens and also from these microbes getting into the body. So we want to keep these guys out here uh, so they can ferment fiber because our bodies cannot uh, break down fiber. So we get help from our friendly microbes that live in our body. This mucosal barrier also is antibacterial, so it repels bacteria. It's also a place to ferment fiber. Fiber is a carbohydrate, but very different than glucose. This fiber does not affect uh, insulin. So basically, these microbes eat the fiber and turn them into fat, small chain fatty acids, okay? The most popular one is called butyrate, okay? Which is interesting because butyrate is in the family of beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is a ketone. So it has ketone effects. Also, another uh, function of this barrier would be selective absorption. So um, the body is going to absorb certain things it wants to absorb and not other things. And the one thing it's going to definitely absorb is this fatty acid, a small chain fatty acid, because the primary uh, function of this acid is to feed the colon cells, okay? What's not being fed as energy to these colon cells can also be used by our body because our liver can absorb it and use it as energy as well. Another uh, function of this would be lubrication. People are always concerned about uh, mucus and I don't want all this mucus in my body. Well, your body does need this mucus to provide for lubrication. So these little guys uh, eat fiber. They turn it into these little fatty acids, one being butyrate, and then butyrate feeds the colon cells. Butyrate is also an anti-inflammatory. So it's very beneficial to people that have inflammatory bowel conditions. Also, it improves insulin resistance, so it helps your blood sugars, just like beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is one of the ketones, very similar. Also, butyrate is anti-cancer in things like polyps and tumors in the colon. It also has satiety properties, so it helps with hunger and it just allows you to feel satisfied. And lastly, butyrate will help maintain the thickness of this mucosal barrier, which is very, very important because if you lose this barrier, then these microbes can get in there and create a lot of problems. So this is just another reason why you should be consuming fiber, as in vegetables. There's a couple things that you can do to help heal this barrier in addition to consuming vegetables. One would be to take glutamine. Glutamine helps maintain this barrier right here. Colostrum also will help uh, reestablish this barrier. It can be gotten in a powder form at the health food store. Intermittent fasting, very, very, very important to help heal the gut, reduce inflammation. And there's one more thing I want to mention, which is very interesting. Uh, I'm experimenting with it with several people right now, but it's called BPC-157. This is a peptide, okay? It's a natural uh, peptide that you can take in a pill, and it goes in there, and it actually heals the lining of the gut. I'm going to give you more information on this in the upcoming weeks but it's one of the peptides that doesn't have to be injected. You can take it orally in a pill. Anyway, there you have it, the importance of the intestinal mucosal barrier. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.